All right, hopefully this microphone does its job and cuts down this wind. Uh, but um, so what I ended up getting this past week and then put it in uh, the other day last night is the um, DPM. It's uh, the recoil spring that they have, uh, whatever they call them, uh, multiple spring recoil reduction system. Um, so for my one of my competition guns, this being the four point, the two point uh, metal, um, I've been doing not too bad with it. Uh, it's I really like the way it feels. It's real accurate. But it is no matter even at all the I've been adjusting the ammo 147 grain some heavier ammo they say it's supposed to slow it down a little bit and tame the recoil uh, as good as I'm getting with it it's still a bit much and um, it's still it's still very very aggressive um, even no matter if I clamp down on it whatever the faster I try to run it I still end up losing the dot here and there and it is. Uh, it is the bigger dot too. It's a six MOA, but um, yeah, no matter what, as a the faster I try to run it, I still end up losing the dot. So I feel like maybe it's slowing me down just a tiny bit. I'm not really sure. So I ended up finding this on Optics Planet, and I had to make sure I got the right one for the right length since this is a four and a quarter. And it came with the uh, guide rod. Thing you can see what the picture looks like. I get this open here. So the guide rod looks like this. It, it has the two springs on the inside of it, and then you take this other spring and slip it over that, and then you put it in the same way you put the guide rod in any other time. And so I used the bigger one, which they said it was the heaviest one, just to be safe. Um, this is my stock one. So I had a little competition this morning, a little US PSA match uh, this morning. Ran about a hundred and some rounds. Uh, let's just say close to 150. Using the heavy one just to be safe. I, I didn't since I didn't get a chance to shoot it. I know it's not very smart to test your new equipment uh, or parts during a match but didn't have time to go out and check it so i was like well if it gives me problems i'll stick the glock the stock one in there and go from there <clears throat> so ended up having zero issues it i don't know if i was going any faster but i did feel like i was able to see uh acquire the dot uh sooner i was i was uh not losing it from it getting all crazy so like I said, I went with the heavier one. Now that the match is over, I swapped over to the, to the middle one, which I don't know what the poundages are on them. I guess I'd have to look. But uh, I've been playing around with that one right now. And um, I actually really like the, the middle one. I'm not so sure about going down to the smallest one. Maybe I'll try it. Actually, I probably should try it right now. When I uh, pause this video I'll, I'll try it on camera the uh the lightest one and see my splits aren't getting much faster but it does feel like the dot is staying within i'm shooting the c-zone still at 10 yards uh i mean i can do the build drills pretty fast ish fairly decent speed but it just feels like now i'm able to actually see the dot a lot uh in a smaller window or it's not moving as uh, around as aggressive so let me go ahead and put the smaller one in there, test it out. So now instead of having 147 grain, I'm 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 running 124 grain uh, ammo now. So let me just put the smaller one in there, do like three, two, three build drills, see if I actually like that, and then maybe I'll just go with that one, um, and then test that. I got another match tomorrow with some steel challenge, so it may help. To keep that dot and not losing it so let me uh swap that over and run a few drills and let's see how it does all right i went ahead and just put the uh lightest one in there uh so let me run like three build drills uh i want to see if the splits are faster or if i well if i'm able to see it uh better the split should be a little faster but i, I don't have the fastest trigger finger anyway but another way to test to see and make sure that this is uh 
not too light is to kind of pull back a little bit and make sure it doesn't get stuck uh, hold, holding, uh, holding back. So make sure it gets back where it needs to be. That's a good way to tell if, uh, if it's uh, too light or whatever. So let's, uh, let me run them real quick. So uh, I know if you wonder why I'm looking around all the time, being in Southern Arizona and uh, a lot of uh, illegal activity that's been going around from what I've been hearing. So I just want to make sure I don't get uh, a little surprise visitor, visitor from some uh, people that aren't supposed to be here. So let me uh, let me just see if it's um, if the splits are any faster. This uh, this gun with that damn hole right there lets out all the gas uh, or uh, from the from the gas and the spent carbon from the shells and it dirties up the optic that's the worst thing about this damn gun but other than that it's a pretty sweet gun all right so let's just uh, run three real quick and i'll just kind of call the times and uh, see what the splits are but I'll, i'm going to use my visual uh kind of tell you what i think it's if it seems like it's better or not or how it feels see if it feels smooth all right here we go feel too bad. They're real slow on the draw. So 172, 24, 21, 23, 24. Not very fast at all. So can't get any under two zero splits. Let's try it again. Alright. Now one three one two five two three two 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 one getting a little faster but I am actually seeing it uh, and it's staying within the C zone steel so let's just run one more what do I have two I could probably run two more let's just keep messing with it just to make sure I don't have any issues so we'll run uh, one or two more let's do that one more time One more time. Alright, still very slow. So, 148, 24, 24, 21. Not very fast at all. Um, so, I, like I said, I can still see it a lot better. So, maybe that's, that's all I need. Maybe it needs to be broken in. I don't know. I'll try one more. One fifteen, draw the first shot. Two seven, two two, two three, two one, two four. Uh, should I have three? Let's just see what we get with three. All right. All right. One more time. Not bad. Uh, it's not much faster. Maybe if uh, I was using some paper and I was a little bit closer, like at seven yards or so, it might be a little faster. But um, I don't know. It's it's not getting all the way out. It's staying within that C. Uh, yeah, that C zone still. So it's not getting real crazy. <laughs> so maybe. Like I said, I got another match tomorrow with the Steel Challenge. So maybe I'm just going to leave it and see what it does. But so far, it feels like it's taming the recoil a little bit. I'll have to check the video and go from there and, and see. So I'm not entirely too sure. But I do like the way it feels. It does feel like it's running flatter. But like I said, I'll have to watch the video myself and see. So if you're watching this, you... Obviously, I've already seen it and you're seeing it. So 
maybe it looks like it's not as snappy but uh let me see if i can do one of them uh slow-mo deals with the camera so stand by All right, so if you, I should have cut the slow mo part of the camera in right before I finish up with this review. Uh, and as you could probably see, it didn't work out the way I intended it to. It looked pretty cool walking over there slow uh, in slow mo, getting ready, getting set up. And then when I started shooting, it looked like it ran normal speed. And then it did the slow mo walk back to the camera, which was cool, no doubt um but it didn't give me what i wanted uh, as far as the filming so maybe i'll have to try and get somebody else um out here with me um or try a different way or i don't really know how to slow down the actual filming but uh you've probably already seen and i have already seen the other build drills and then the build drills that i just did in the slow-mo uh, it actually did look like it wasn't all over the place like the gun was coming back down and on target a lot faster which it does look like that's what I'm seeing and uh, visually myself through the sight through the optic on the dot but it also looked like the like the front of the gun is also being tamed um, like it's getting down there quicker so I mean if I'm wrong or what, what do you see if you're watching this uh, does it actually look like it's uh coming back on target a lot faster because it, it it really did to me um but um yeah i think so this was this was like about 80 bucks i believe uh, optic planning I, I think it's imported from i don't remember if it was like israel or somewhere uh I'm not entirely sure if that was correct um let's see if it says in there dpm systems oh greece athens greece i knew it was somewhere uh from the the manufacturer whoever makes it but so far i do like it i was afraid to go down to them without just testing them but like i said it's it's got a lot of it, i mean it's not it's not just when i did change them with the walter and went real light it would like get hung up here and uh you could tell it was like not wanting to push it back but i think that double deal in there that other picture let's see uh, i'm assuming the sp springs that are in here are the ones that are pulling it back into battery so if that is what it's doing then uh this thing so far i really like it and it's working out pretty good so i'm gonna uh run another what do you call it uh steel challenge tomorrow so I should have about 200 more rounds so far. I don't know if I said it already, but I got about 3,500 rounds through this gun now. Uh, yeah, so I ended up shooting something last week on Easter Sunday, a match. So that was over 200 plus the 150 or so. Uh, yeah, by tomorrow. So we're messing around with it the, on Saturday. So yeah, so in the next couple of weeks, I should be back to 4,000 on this thing. But like I said, I got about 3,500 right now. Now that I'm putting this new uh, guide rod and spring in there, their whole recoil reduction system. But uh, see how uh, I do with the steel challenge tomorrow. See if, if my times, any of my times get a little bit faster or I move up, get bumped up in my classification, then it is it'll be working i mean 
the whole point of steel challenge is uh, shooting steel as fast as you can and the faster you can get on target to the next steel and have your see what you need to see the faster you can break the shot and move on and the, and the times go faster so uh yeah i'm gonna keep messing with this so far i do like it uh like i said they're about 80 bucks they make them for a bunch of guns um well, this one's the smith and wesson i believe i saw them for glocks and um i don't know what else what other guns i i um shit i don't I remember what other guns they they maybe do have them for the walters but um i'm not sure you'd have to look around and see what they have but uh so far uh, i like that uh the price was 80 some dollars and it's so far it's not bad so uh i'll do an update when i get to 4,000 rounds uh do another review on this gun and that'll be five or six hundred rounds no it'll probably be six to seven hundred rounds through this thing and just kind of give a little update on that so and uh yeah stay tuned and we'll get to the four thousand round review within the month i'm hoping so all right we'll be back